Today I'm going to do a tool review and do something different. I got a battery on this machine and I borrowed that battery from my boat because I've got several machines that need batteries but I don't use them often enough to keep the batteries charged up and every time a battery goes dead and has to be replaced it's a hundred dollars or so for another battery and I got several machines I'm not going to keep going through buying these batteries all the time on these machines that don't get used very much so what I'm going to do is just use one battery on several things anyway yeah the one battery on this chipper this little self-propelled stump grinder has a battery a welder it has a battery my fishing boat has three batteries one for starting, one for accessories, and then the third battery that I run overnight lights on because I fish at night on the river doing jug fishing. So that's three machines right off the bat that I'm going to put this quick disconnect on and just have one battery for all three. The tool review is going to be one on this hydraulic crimping tool for crimping ends, cable ends, onto the battery cables and this will be my first time using it and then a seven dollar um, cable cutter from Harbor Freight doesn't look like it's in the best shape but for cutting copper cables and stripping the plastic off of them it should be just fine. We'll see how it works. Here's the quick disconnect that I'm going to be putting on there. It comes with a set of caps. They're kind of a rubbery soft plastic. Let's stick those up here for the moment. And two of these identical plugs. And you flip that over and plug it in like this and they snap together and I'll have to do a little bit better review on these later it's hard to do it out here where I am anyway the way they're they're set up this is has a negative sign right here and a positive sign over here and the same on this one so that when you flip them over it's the same on both sides that's nice because you can mix them up with different equipment and don't have to worry about the cables being in the wrong polarity. And I hope I'm holding this in a good position for the camera because I cannot see the the camera. Anyway, there is a flat steel lock inside there. When I'm flipping with my fingernail you see one up here and there's a little um, edge right here on the back of this clip that's going to lock behind that and keep this in there so what I got to do is put these two of these pins get a cable clamped on them, and then they get snapped in there and locked into place and when they do when you plug those two red uh, plugs together these here have a rounded side on them on this side and they're gonna they're gonna be kind of spring loaded on the back side with that piece I was flicking with my fingernails going to be pushing these out they're gonna plug together tight like this and they unplug that way You've got two of those and each one doing that first thing I'm gonna do is I did not bring a wrench I wasn't even sure what size wrench to bring. Let's see if the, I brought the pliers instead, let's see if the battery will just slip off of there. It does, it just slips off. Okay, good. I'm going to go on ahead and kill this battery cable. And I cut it off. I think I'm going to cut it right here. So here's the first test for this Harbor Freight uh, cable cutter. 
very very easy cut I also bought a bag of connectors of eyes here I bought uh, a bag of 10 of those since this battery has lead clamps I'm not going to use the lead clamps I'm going to see how deep are these we're going to go in about that far we're not going to get much 3 eighths of an inch maybe And I've never done this before. Oh, I've done a lot of electric work on automotive, but what we're doing right here, right now, I never did. Okay, that's not going to go in far enough to satisfy me. I'm going to trim some more of that off of there. This thing cuts better than I thought it would. Cuts that plastic real nice. Cuts the copper real nice too. Yeah, that's going to go in there nicely like that. Now, how are we going to crimp that on there? I used to use a hammer. Now, I'm going to use this. This crimping tool got it from Amazon and I forgot the price but it's in the 30s it's in the upper 30s I want to say $38 I think it was $37.99 and it comes let me show you what it comes with it comes with all these different dies that you put in there this is the number 50 the next size up is bigger than that, it's a number 70. The number 50 is what I'm going to try and see if that'll crimp down tight enough for me. If not, then I'll go and get a smaller one. It's got a whole bunch of different ones in there. So let's put this in here. Well, it needs to get closed down a little bit first. Oh, I played with it in the kitchen when I opened it up to see, get, make sure everything works on it. Yeah, you just pump the handle here and this hydraulically moves out and then you crank this to the left to release it. Hard to try to... I don't know if I'm in the camera or not. I hope so. I'm sorry if I'm not. Okay, this one's not going to tighten down. I have to get a smaller one. Release it. And then pull these dies out. Put a smaller set in. I'm going to need these bigger 50s. for these big plugs here number 25 let me try that out plug that in there like so if the handle does not have a spring in it to push it back out So I'm just going to stick it into my waist here. Wait a minute. i got to lock that first.
supposed to crimp to 10 tons hydraulic pressure let's see how it, how it did I didn't do the neatest job but it doesn't seem like it's coming off seems like it's on there tight now this end I'm going to go ahead and chop this off and then put the big one on No, I'm not. While I got that smaller size in there, I'm going to go ahead and get this off of here. I think this thing's going to be a lot of trouble and headaches to use if I were doing it full time electric work I just got that in a not the best position so I had to open it up again and slide it back down but for as little as I have to do this kind of job I think it's going to work real good and I think I'm going to be real happy with this crimping tool puts a nice tight squeezes it on six sides nice tight connection there that's good we got to change the dies and go for the bigger size. I'm not going to use this lead anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut that off right at the end. And I think these might go in a little farther. Yeah, these can go in quite a bit farther. Cut this one back to here. So I give a thumbs up for the seven dollar cable cutter. Glad I cut it back that far. Look, it's a little bit rough on the ends there, but it's my stuff. I don't have to guarantee it for life. A nice fit was all new, but it's not. I'm going to change these ends now. Maybe the screwdriver will help. Pop that out of there. We'll put this size 50 in. I think I'm going to hold this one out here do it like this this time Yeah, it's a two-handed tool, pretty much. <clears throat> Never used one before. Well, it might need a little bit more than that because this is able to slide out slightly and it's as tight as it's going to go so we might need a little bit more power on these bigger ones going to have to give a thumbs down on this particular hydraulic tool it's already cracking right here and I saw it was closing back here the die on this side but out here it's still wide open and it's uh, I can see that this end is not square anymore the top of it's not square with this anymore it's, it's lifting up it's breaking so not gonna work but a thumbs up for the seven dollar cable cutter it's like 40 bucks at the store
or at least 30 at Home Depot for a Klein. I am not sure where I left off on this video because I started it about three weeks ago and broke a tool that I was using to put these ends on these cables. Anyway, this is how it turns out on this one. This is my quick release or quick disconnect, I mean to say. I'm going to do a little recap on this crimping tool that I broke. The one I replaced it with is this one here. It's the same company, YKQ. Cheapest price I could find on Amazon. I'm sure they're all made at the same place, same manufacturer. This one, I don't know if you can tell on the video or not, but this C-shaped clamp is not straight up and down with the rest of this cylinder. It's bent back towards the side. It's cracked here up here on both sides it's cracked this is not aluminum this is steel or cast iron or something because a magnet will stick to that this is a hydraulic cylinder that comes out of here and uh, you put one of these dies in the bottom and one on top but it's broken and I have a visitor This tool came with some crimping dies that are much bigger than what this tool can handle. Maybe it can handle them on real thin uh, sleeves, but these thick ones it couldn't do it. It just broke the, the tool. Just me squeezing it with my hands it broke the tool, so it's not quality. This is another one that I have not even used yet. I bought this one for doing it on these or smaller ones they're light gauge this is not going to work on these heavy ones either and on this one you change these by where is it you press this and rotate that to a different size so we broke this one and I replaced it with this one yeah I'm spending money this is a bigger one, of course. It's not a C, so it's not gonna it's not gonna spread one side open because it's locked on both sides equally. You gotta pull this pin to change the dies. And it comes with a bigger set of dies that get pretty big. A lot bigger than what I plan on using. And this one is strong enough to crimp these big um pieces like that. telephone interruption there um, I'm going to go ahead and crimp the other one of these on this end I'm going to cut this off and crimp this on there cut this thing in half and then I'm going to put one each of these a big one and a little one three eighths and a I'm use the same color wire, but they'll only um, go on the holes one way because this one's three eighths and this one's five sixteenths. Won't be able to get them both on there if you put them on wrong. So I'm going ahead and use this crimper for that. Sorry about the camera.
Well, not quite enough of a crimp. Let me adjust this to a tighter crimp. Not that way, it'd have to be this way. Seems to be on there tight now. Okay. And the other one here. those little flaps that squeezed out from the I don't know where the camera's at cause I'm not using the monitor yeah these little things here I'm going to crush those back in by sticking them in at a different angle doing it again this is new to me I'm not used to crimping battery cable ends yeah small terminals on small wires I do that a lot but this is new to me doing it with these big crimpers. I never had these before. But <clears throat> I think I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of these hand crimpers for these smaller cables. Now I got to put these in. This is my 3 8 hole. That's going to go in the positive side. It's going to go in this one here. And if I stick it in the wrong one, you can stick a small screwdriver in there and pet press that tab down and pull them back out. Put it in again. So we got this one ready now to put on the boat. 